So why is it that when we feel like we've done our best, something we do something and we're so proud of it, it performs the worst? And it's like whether it's like a test from school or a project at work or even a YouTube video. And then it performing the worst is not the worst part about it. The worst part about it is that we then reflect that performance into like our self-worth. And like, come on, like, isn't that crazy? <laughs> How you guys doing? Happy, happy Tuesday? <laughs> I am legit like all thrown off because um, yeah, I missed the vlog yesterday, man. I missed the vlog. Like it's okay to miss a Tuesday. It's okay to miss a Thursday, but Monday, Wednesdays, that's that's all sky money, <laughs> man. I was so mad, but you know, anyway, anyway, hot man. How y'all doing, for real? <laughs> now, not for nothing, it is a nice day, but man, it is windy. And whoa, and when the wind like blows, it just, it just gets cold. <laughs> and now, quick side note, it seems, uh, seems a bit busier today than usual. It's, it's a bit weird. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, which is, I mean, it's fine, it's fine. It's just, it just throws me off a little bit because when I'm hugging the block, it's usually, it's usually a lot quieter. But, hey, just like a Band-Aid, just, just rip it off. But anyway, it is time for me to head into work and get ready for the first meeting of the day. Yes, since it is Tuesday, it is definitely like one of those meeting days and it's a heavy meeting day. Tuesdays and Thursdays are the busiest for meetings. But on a brighter note, since it is just Tuesday, and even though it's a meeting day, I don't have to host any meetings. Just, just on Thursdays. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. All right, I need to, I need to get to work. Look, you see what I mean? Like, it just seems like it's a bunch of people out today, right? Snap, and the block is hot too? Jeez. Now since it is Tuesday, I usually also release a video on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the Travel Channel, so I gotta make sure to remember. I, I gotta remember. <laughs> Cause look, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Last week, I like just completely forgot. <laughs> I did. This place looks, what is this place right here? I think that place is new. So yesterday I had recorded a vlog and no joke, it was like three big scenes of the vlog that were shot outside that were all messed up due to audio issues. <laughs> For real, it was so bad that I just, I either cut it from the vlog or I reshot it. Like the hook, I reshot the hook because the audio was so bad. It was so windy that it just messed up the mic, <laughs> the audio. So yeah, I just went ahead and reshot the hook and cut out a bunch of things from, yeah, from the last vlog episode. And thank goodness I went ahead and used the DJI mics <laughs> when I sat down and had a coffee. Thank God. Something told me, like, man, it is extremely windy. I don't know. You, you go with DJI. I was kind of bummed that I couldn't upload the vlog yesterday. Man, I was bummed. So... I'm happy that it's out. I'm a little disappointed in that Joby mic. I will review it later, but yeah, I was I was kind of bummed that I just could not get this video. I just did not want. I could have, but I didn't want to upload it like that. Like not like like that's not sauce. I mean, yeah. So basically, just been <laughs> I basically just been using this Comica shotgun mic, and they sent this to me a while back that I meant to do a review and just never did. But it's. Sounds pretty good. All right, so back in high school, there was a point where money was really tight. So what I ended up doing was picking up another job. And I picked up this job at Best Buy and I was working in, I think it was like media specialist. I was like a media specialist working with like cameras and, and games and accessories, like all that kind of stuff. I still remember working at Best Buy like it was yesterday because this was the first time I actually felt like my performance was tied to my self-worth. Oh, it is nice out today. Oh man, it's nice. Since 
since it's kind of nice today, I kind of want to get out and walk around the park a bit and kind of just sit down, chill, and talk to y'all. But, call me crazy, but I think, I think it might rain. <laughs> I don't know, I could, I could smell it. Oh, my beanie game, what's going on with my beanie? Come on, what's going on with my drip? <laughs> Yeah, when I was working at th this Best Buy, I remember it was a Best Buy by North Lake Mall. And I remember this one night, the supervisor came up to me because we were like closing out. And I remember he came up to me and legit asked me how many Rhapsody subscriptions I sold that night. And I mean, I think I may have sold like three. I was never really big on the selling part when it came to like these subscriptions because I thought they were a scam. But yeah, I was like, you know, I, I think I sold like three. And that's when I realized, I remember just his remark of like, you know, I think he said something like, I, how do we know that how do we know that you're good at your job? And I think that had to be the first time I ever like pretty much tied my performance to my self-worth. And I still remember shortly after that, I started doing the same thing when it came to school. Like, oh, if you don't get good grades, go to a good college, you can't, you won't be successful. And look, I'm sorry to say this, but I don't think any of that's true. I'm just, look, I'm just super saying. the big reason that I don't believe in that is simple fact that a lot of this stuff is like clearly out of your control like for real like a lot of it I mean cuz think about it just with school alone like I knew a guy who did terrible in school but got an amazing job because his dad hooked him up I also knew a guy that also did terrible in school failed a lot of classes but and barely made it out of college and ended up being pretty successful and getting pretty good jobs based off of his experience that he made while he was in college. Okay, now I'm gonna be real though. That one's a big of a cheat because I think, um, I mean, if you guys don't know, I'm, I'm that dude. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just, look, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> I was that guy who, instead of like bookworming it all day, every day, I worked and then I worked and then I worked some more. And it gave me so much experience, especially with my internships. Man, I made time for these internships and it just paid off massively. <laughs> okay, bring y'all over here. <laughs> oh my uh, God. Okay, got our coffee. And um, y'all know, y'all already know, y'all look, I got y'all, here you go. Take, take that waffle cookie. Look, I'm cutting the, I, y'all know I ain't eating sugar, so y'all do it for me. <laughs> and what made me like really think about this was the way I felt when, like recently, like my last video I dropped, you know, you get that little YouTube notification and it's just like, Ugh, this video performed a 10 out of 10. <laughs> and man, no joke, if you, if you are in the content game, you understand that feeling. <laughs> Like for real, you just put so much work and it's like one of your best videos and you're like, dang, 10 out of 10. <laughs> and sometimes it makes you like second guess what you're doing and how you're doing it. But then also you'll just randomly get a comment. Like the, the instant, like the moment I feel that way, I'll get a comment that just snaps me out of it. And it's literally a comment that's basically saying, why this video only got like 2000 views? Lift y'all up a bit, y'all are a little cricket and low. Let me. I get these comments a lot and it just, it just really snaps me out of that whole, my performance equals my self worth because the views and all that stuff, that that's completely out of my control. At the end of the day, like if you really think about it, that is completely out of my control, especially when it comes to doing a video that I really like to do. It has no high value tags, nothing, or keywords, nothing. So it is completely out of my control, but most of the time those videos are the best videos that I make. Something else that I realized too is that those videos seem to be the most helpful because when I read the conversation, like when I'm reading all the comments, the conversation is completely different than like a tech review or a camera review, something like that. It is completely different. But if I'm being dead serious, just by looking at the numbers alone, like the views, you won't be able to tell that. You won't be able to tell that this was one of the most helpful videos that your boy Sky Money made. And I think that's okay. I think that it's okay as long as I continue to view it for what it is. Meaning like I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at it so much as a justification for my self-worth, but more of, more of 
what it is, which is data. And however I want to use this data, it's completely up to me. But at the end of the day, I'm still, I'm still me. <laughs> and getting that 10 out of 10 don't really mean much as long as I know that I'm bringing the sauce. <laughs> thought about it. I thought about it a couple of times which is why I guess I'm making a video about it because it seems like like no matter how much we know this like our performance is not equal like our self-worth we tie it we, we tie our performance to our self-worth all the time even when we know that we're better than that we know that we know that we're better than our performance or our numbers like we know it we we know this. So look, for anybody out there who feels just like a bit lost or feel like, you know, feel bad every time their video doesn't do well or, you know, especially with YouTube, because YouTube, you'll hit that, you'll hit the YouTube app and you'll see that 10 out of 10 <laughs> ranking. <laughs> it, it can make you feel some type of way. But just know, at the end of the day, just always know that you are good enough. You are good the way you are. And numbers, numbers are, I would say 90% of the time, the numbers are out of our control. I mean, I cannot tell you how many times I've made like a boss video, like my best, and it does the worst out of all my video. <laughs> because it didn't have the keywords, because it wasn't talking about a camera or something like that. All those, pretty much all those videos do the worst, but those were my best work. And those are the, those are the videos and episodes that I'm proud of the most so for any of you guys out there feeling low or like feeling like you know you're looking at these numbers and it makes you feel some type of way pimping just remember your performance does not equal to your self-worth and you are gucci you're good enough always remember that you are good enough now if you want to improve obviously improve and keep doing the best you can but just remember and with a lot of these numbers these numbers are just out of your control and you are good the way you are. As long as you enjoyed what you're doing and you liked what you made, you're, you're good. All right, now I gotta, uh, I gotta get back to work. <laughs> it's a meeting day, so yeah, let me, let me pull up in here real quick. <laughs> Okay, just finished up meeting number one. Now, I thank goodness I didn't have to talk. There was so much going on, <laughs> but yeah, it was it was a good meeting overall. Now I'm just trying to trying to figure out what's wrong with this freaking trailer. So yeah, I'm gonna figure this out, and then I think uh, I think I'm gonna call it quits. It's almost about 6:15, so yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna call it quit soon because I think Sarah has to go to work early. So yeah, I'm gonna get my booty up out of here. <laughs> been a minute since I've like left work and it's still like light out like look look at all that light up here I mean it's it's dark but it's not it's not that dark <laughs> oh man but now another though what an amazing day got everything I need to get done done no audio issues today I went in back and checked the footage because <laughs> I don't use this mic that much but yeah I mean the mic I mean, it sounds amazing oh and I also talked to Sarah a bit today and she said her and the kids have a good day she has to get ready to go to work now but yeah her and the kids have a great day so yeah overall it was just um 
I think overall it was a really, really good day. But yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap, oh, a bit tight on the face right there. <laughs> But yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog episode up here. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed it. And down below in the comments, let me know what you guys think about a lot of people starting to basically tie their performance to their self-worth. Let me know what you guys think, even if it is completely different from what I think. Let me know, I would, cause yeah, I would, I would love to know and y'all some ninja bosses. I mean, cause legit, sometimes people be saying stuff to me and I was just like, you know what? I ain't think about it that way. So for real, let me know. Even if you think personally that it's different, let me know because I, I would love to know and yeah, like them comments up. And also I gotta give a big shout out to everybody who bought me a coffee. And if you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. But if not, y'all already know, no tea, no shade, cause I ain't a hater. <laughs> but yeah, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it cause I enjoyed making it and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> All right. Peace out. <laughs>